Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. One of the comments that I received when I did the review of the Derek's drill sharpener, drill bit sharpener, was how do you replace the diamond cutting wheel? I should have shown that. We'll take a look at that because not only can you replace it, but you can also double the life of these stones by flipping it over and reversing it. Let's take a look. This is the Derek's drill bit sharpener, the 750 SP. I have used this for years. It works great. It's got two chucks going all the way up to three quarters of an inch. This is where the grinding wheel is beneath here. If we pop this up, it exposes the grinding wheel. There's a lot of metal metallic flakes in here. I should probably clean those out. But here's the wheel. The wheel spins here and typically a drill bit is basically only using about half the wheel. Let's take let's put a chuck in here with a drill bit and I'll show you. Here's a set of snap-on drill bits, really high quality, and we'll use a half inch because I think it'll be easier to demonstrate. We'll open this chuck all the way up so that it will there it goes, takes that, and then we'll line it up here. There we go. And then we'll take a look inside here where the where the drill bit actually interfaces with the uh, stone. Okay, we'll take a close-up look at where the drill bit actually interfaces with the stones. We'll zoom in. And it's this lower part here. You can see it's just the lower aspect. We'll put a headlight in here and show you that basically it's the lower aspect, the lower half of the grinding stone that inter interacts with the, the drill bit. Okay, this is a good view. When you see the drill bit here, when we rotate it, it's actually interacting only with the lower half of the diamond wheel. So what we can do so we can flip this upside down and give us double the life. Let's look at that. This wrench comes with the drill doctor and it's used to lock this wheel in place. There are two flats here and then we can just kind of twist it, twist it off. Just like that. Well, you can see I've had a bit of a challenge, so I've had to put a gear puller on this. I think there's some glue that they, that was used, and I'm gonna see if I can just pull this off. But it wasn't a simple. There it goes. wasn't a simple slip on, slip off. So we pulled it off, and it had a shim, it had a brass shim around it, and. Uh, So there we got it off. It wasn't quite as easy as it as you'd think it would be. So I had to use this this gear puller, but then it came just came off just fine. So now we're going to flip it upside down. So I've cleaned this all up now. And it's funny, the um, you can see where the, the wear is more on this side. So we took it and we're going to just flip it up and I was kind of surprised to see this brass shim in there. 
but I guess we'll replace it to hold it securely. Okay, we've got this tapped back into place. I'm going to reinstall the cap or the fan or both, whichever you want to call this top piece. Screw it in. I'm going to tighten these screws equally. Put the wrench in there to prevent it from rotating. Okay. There we go. Let's plug it in and just check it. All right, it's running true. We've now reversed it, but if you want to replace it, that's how you do it. Um, if you do have a shim, which surprised me, put it halfway in the wheel so that it's half of it expo is exposed, and then put that on the on the stem here, and then you can just tap it into place and it goes nicely. Then we'll just click this back into place, and there you go. So thank you for watching. That's how you replace the diamond wheel in a Derek's drill bit sharpener. And again, I think you can take the original one, flip it upside down, and double the lifespan. So these last a long time. Again, please subscribe, click like. Comments are very welcome. This video was a result of a comment. And as always, stay safe.